But you see, this is the important thing. To inspire people and to let them know anything is possible. Mm. And I'm talking about not just people in Hollywood, but I want to reach to that little village in Poland, mm. that little r village in Ukraine, in Russia, in China, in Africa, in the Middle East, where the poorest of the poorest people is, if they can watch this and they see ordinary folks can make it. Mm. You know, I want to inspire those people there and say, you can do it. Just have a vision and have the will and just chase your vision. That is the most important thing. You can do it. Look at me. I come from a little Austrian village. There was a population of 800. <laughs> where everyone said to me all the time, forget it. You will never make it. But then I saw Reg Park in the movies. And then all of a sudden I got inspired. You know, so I had kind of, I had a way of looking at the world uh, through the movies. And I got inspired. And this is what we are doing here today. It's inspiring people. Come out and watch it. Look at uh, Logan. Look at his brother. Look at so many people. Look at Muhammad Ali. Look at Mike Tyson. These are people that came from nothing. And they worked their way up. And they became something, you know. It can be done. So this is what it's all about, is inspiring everybody. I love that message. It's funny. It's just, you know, the people who are successful are all saying the same thing. Yeah. Like, there's a through line to yeah, it. Yeah, you can you do know? it if you work hard. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's like a sacrifice and surrender. I think the, the hardest part for most people, and you always do a good job of, like, relating this back to um, the audience, is, is, is that surrender to the unknown, the uncertainty. Like, you, you know, it might not be super apparent right off the bat, what's going to happen with your life, but That's okay. you have to surrender yeah. and then just sacrifice everything you fucking got to go get your shit. You're the epitome of it. My dad told me about your story when I was, uh, when I was young, how you would, you would train, uh, in between, in between sessions in the war, right? Or, or you were in, in, in boot camp. I was, you... uh, I was in the military and, uh, I was a tank driver and it was in the Austrian army. And I remember we were in maneuver and at night, you know, we parked our tank. We first uh, dug a hole underneath the tank that deep so we could sleep underneath the tank without the wild boar going after us. And that was always the danger because we're surrounded by wild boar and stuff like that. And um, there was no enemy because it was just a maneuver. Uh, but I mean, so around seven o'clock at night when it got dark, I then went and opened up this compartment in my tank where you have the tools in case the tank breaks down. But I didn't have tools in there. I gave the tools to some other tank uh, driver and I had my uh, collapsible kind of bench that you could put the legs together and all this and then do your flies. I had my dumbbells in there. I had my barbell blades and the barbell, uh, uh, the, the bar in there. And I started working out and we all were working out like two hours before we went to sleep at night. So we, we were, so we were training and then we were eating and then we went to sleep. And the next morning we got up at five o'clock again to continue on with the maneuver. But there was like a daily occurrence. It was just, you know, all about, you know, I got to go and become Mr. Universe. It didn't matter if I was in the military. It didn't matter if it was a tank driver or that the food was shitty. Uh, you know, that we just mo mostly ate potatoes there and I'm in order. So nothing mattered. It was just, I got to train every day. So it was that kind of a discipline. So that's, I think, what your dad talked about. Do you think having that goal helped you? Because oftentimes I find a good idea or a goal can plague me in the best way. It's all I care about. Absolutely. I think that uh, we don't operate well if we don't have a mission, yeah. if we don't have a specific vision and a specific goal, because then you have something to shoot for. I mean, look, every single airplane that takes off knows where they're going. Yeah. Imagine you have the most sophisticated airplane in the world and it takes off and doesn't know where to go, mm. right? Mm. It's not going to have a successful mission, no right. matter what. Mm. And so this is why it is so important to have a mission, and to have a specific goal, because then every rep that you do, every workout that you do, will get you one step closer to that goal. And you know why you're doing, you never ask yourself at six in the morning, why the hell am I doing another 500 sit-ups? Why am I getting up at, at five in the morning and go to the gym? You know why. Yeah. I mean, I always knew that for every rep I did, every set I did, every squat I did, every bench press I did, every chin up I did, every leg raise I did, was to get one step closer to becoming the world champion in bodybuilding. And it felt 
good mm. and I had a good time doing it and I was smiling in the gym <laughs> doing it rather than like other guys that had this kind of a clamped face you know all pissed <laughs> off looking that they that's me set. You know, I never I knew exactly why I was in the gym and still today I come in here I do my sets I do that because I'm I'm from 75 years old you know I got to go and stay in shape I'm doing more TV shows I'm doing a TV series I'm doing more movies I want to be in shape and I want to you know look according it's already tough enough as it is uh, to stay in shape so you got to do it no matter what yeah.